Hey students, welcome back. This is our first actual writing les lesson. Um, what I want to focus on first is the most important part of your paper. At least when I grade, this will be the most important part of your paper. In fact, it is the most important sentence or sentences in your entire piece. Um, it's your thesis statement. We're going to talk a little bit about topic sentences as well towards the end of the video, but I want to start with the thesis statement because again, it's the thing I read first when I see your papers. In fact, it's the thing I focus on most throughout the entire essay and what you should start with your focus for your actual paper. Usually finishes at the end of your introduction. Um, sometimes it can come a little bit after that. We'll talk about the stylistic differences there a little bit further into the class. But for our purposes, you'll have your introduction paragraph and the last sentence or two, sometimes three, will be your thesis statement. This statement is gonna be the umbrella for your entire paper. It's gonna let your audience know two very important things. First, what the essay is gonna focus on. The topic is what I'll call that. Second, it's going to be what you're going to prove or conclude or convince or persuade your audience of. That's going to be your claim. So every thesis statement needs to have a topic and a claim. One of those is not a complete thesis statement. It needs to have both. In addition to introducing your topic and your claim for the entire paper to your readers, it will also help you structure your essay. So a quality thesis statement may be one sentence, but more often than not, it's going to be two or three sentences or a combination, a complex compound sentence. The thesis is going to tell your audience what you're going to talk about, what you're going to prove about it. You want to give them some, some claims, some proofs, where you're taking them in the essay. Having said that, you don't always know where you're going at the start of an essay. So sometimes you need just a placeholder thesis, a simple thesis, simple topic, simple claim, and then at the end of the essay, you'll go back and you'll revise and you'll turn that into a more complex thesis. The best thesis statements are going to structure your essay. So here's an example of a thesis that tells exactly how the essay is going to work. Now, once you have a strong thesis statement, you can actually get to organizing the rest of your paper. In the next clip, we're going to talk about the meal plan. And the M in the meal plan is going to be your topic sentences. Every paragraph of your essay, not including your introduction or your conclusion, is a body paragraph. And every body paragraph needs a topic sentence. The topic sentence is like, like a little mini umbrella. It's like a mini thesis statement for that paragraph. And what you're going to do with that one is you're going to tell the topic of the paragraph and what you'll prove to your audience about that topic. In other words, your claim. So your thesis statement has topic for the essay, claim for the essay. Body paragraphs each have a topic sentence, topic for the paragraph, claim for the paragraph. If you do that well throughout the essay, and this is how I'm going to grade you, I'm going to read your thesis first, and I'm going to read the first sentences in every paragraph, the first one or two sentences. If you've done those well, a quality thesis statement, quality topic sentences, I'll know exactly what you're going to teach me throughout that entire paper, and you're already halfway to an A in the class. Thank you again for your time, and I look forward to working with you. Happy writing!